I am privileged to say a few words to you in this most modern and novel manner. The movie trailer is now well over 100 years old, most famously with John Miljan in the trailer for Al Jolson's The Jazz Singer. Its role is to convince an audience to come back into the cinema. The trailer is everything to sell the movie. Sell the sizzle, not the steak. We're really feeding into the sizzle in that moment. It's the first look at a new film. We need to be a little more compelling from frame one. A guitar riff, a line of dialogue, something that gets us amped. It's a trick to get people to just tune in for two to five, ten minutes. When the music is synced to the action that's happening on the screen, when things are cut to the beat, with the cover of a song. This is a trailer moment. It's about what your reaction to the trailer is. Sonic. We're talking. We're, I'm talking about Sonic here. <laughs> Trailer debuts on Apple became a huge deal. The internet changed the game for the movie trailer. Oh, this trailer just dropped? Let me see if I like that. Part of the magic is seeing it with other people. Huddled around her phone, it's Robert Downey Jr. He became Tony Stark. Couldn't stop talking about it. Suddenly every studio wanted their trailer in front of 6,000 people in Hall H. It's an extension of the trailer experience. Good on you, you should probably do this for a career. The music drops and bam, the action hits and there's Tom Cruise jumping and leaping off buildings. Baby Driver Trail, for instance. It's like you're watching a mini movie beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, the wrath of Khan. Star Trek is on the big screen. That trailer for episode one. It was a cultural event. But you're just experiencing this piece of art. They make you want to fall in love with the movie. Sit with us and feel like its own experience.